Welcome back. This is your boy HT3, bring you God and travel. You know, I love to speak on Bible topics, but I also will always speak on things that deal with the black community. And what's big right now in the black community is this Kendrick versus Drake beef. And to be honest with you, Drake went hard. Kendrick went hard. But it seems like with the fans, that's not good enough. These fans are calling for blood. <laughs> they want something bad to happen. This is, this is not about Who's the best rapper? It's over with. It had gotten way too personal. Drake talking about Kendrick's wife. Kendrick's talking about Drake's a pedophile. A lot of dirt being slung from left to right. And the black media has turned Drake into a white Republican candidate. <laughs> That's how much, much they hate him right now. And they don't care what his disc records say. They're not giving Drake a fair shake. But Kendrick is the black hero at the moment. They love everything he's saying. But we don't even need to be calling for no blood. This is rap. This is just entertainment. No one needs to die behind this. I'm pretty sure Drake is feeding his family. Kendrick is feeding his family. Last I checked, Drake believes in God. Kendrick believes in God. Last I checked. This rap is just entertainment. These fans want these rappers just to continue to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They want something bad to happen. They want another Tupac and Biggie situation. And personally, I don't want anything to happen to Drake or Kendrick. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are dependent on them. They got family. And they don't want to die behind no stupidity. So, this thing has, has gotten out of hand. And it's time for us to get back to reality. Focus your attention on your life. How can you make things better for yourself? How can you get back on track? How can you be a better you? How can you help your family? How can you get back into the church? How can you get back into the words of God? How can you be the best version of you? This beef between Drake and Kendrick is not helping you at all. I mean, to be honest with you, though, it's not even, like I said, it's not even about who has the coldest diss. It's about, it's about who can kill who now. We already seen the shooting outside of Drake's home, which is crazy. The whole thing is just stupid. Drake is rich. Kendrick is rich. Let me repeat that. Drake is rich. Kendrick is rich. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do with y'all time. Y'all will be more powerful together. Drake got a lot of fans. Kendrick got a lot of fans. Y'all are more powerful together. 
Y'all dropped that Poetic Justice years ago. That was amazing. That was a great collab. Now the fans, especially the black fans, are calling for blood. Well, I call for peace, unity. It's real black power. All uh, Kenya fans talking about uh, Drake is a white man now. All this black power stuff. Well, true black power would never tear another black man down. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no proof that Drake laid up, with, laid up with no underage girl. Show me the video of Drake laying up with an underage girl. Or were y'all there when Drake was laying up with the underage girl? Y'all even y'all just going off what a person say. Y'all just going off pictures. But y'all ain't seen nothing of that nature. Now, on Drake's side, that was pretty disrespectful for Drake to include Kendrick's wife in his songs like that. Very disrespectful. Both men has crossed the line. But the fans, man, Drake, we need to come back, Drake. We need you to say something, Drake. Kendrick fan, come on, Kendrick, finish your mouth, finish your mouth. It's like, when is enough going to be enough? Y'all want somebody to get murdered? They have already crossed the line. They may not ever be friends again. When is enough gonna be enough for y'all? Y'all want some blood. Y'all want some devils. Y'all want somebody to get murdered so y'all can laugh about it, talk about it, gossip about it for some views, for some likes. Y'all want somebody to get hurt. Y'all ain't got nothing going on for y'all selves. Y'all mad at Kendrick, because Kendrick is balling. Y'all mad at Drake, because he's balling. Y'all want one of them to come up dead. That's what y'all want. That's what y'all really want. But I pray it don't go that far. I pray that both men let this stupid beef go. Swash it. You ain't gonna be the best of friends, but swash it. Because it's childish and it's stupid for two young black rich men, intelligent black men, to be doing this. And this is your boy, HT3. We died in trouble. Peace out.